right. All right. Well, why don't you all stand by, everybody? And okay. uh, I got a little surprise for everybody. All right. That sound good? Of course, sure. nothing's working. So, uh, well, of course, you stupid thing. So later then. No, we're gonna do the surprise right now. Okay. Hello. Hello. Is this Paul Sosnowski? No. Yes, it is. Oh, hey. <laughs> you know who I got in the line, waiting. everybody? I got the man who proposed on episode 14 of Monday Night Raw. How you doing, Paul? I'm all right. Oh, man. Let me answer the first question. Yes, please. We are not married. We oh. didn't get married. You know, it's Wait, funny. I'm sorry. Did you say you never got married? No, uh, not to her, no. I'm okay. married now. I see. You know, it's funny, Paul, because um, this whole thing got set up and everything like that, and we were all ready to go tonight, and uh, and I went downstairs, and, and uh, we were doing dinner for the kids, and I, I said to my wife, man, I was watching uh, this retro Raw show, and uh, this guy, he, uh, he proposed to his girlfriend, and you're never going to guess, I got him for the show tonight. And she goes, really? Yeah. Is he still married? And all of a sudden, I just, in my tracks, I stopped dead, and I thought... God, I don't even know. So I'm glad that <laughs> yeah. you've uh, you've kicked off this uh, this interview by by answering. Oh, don't worry. I've been asked that question many, many times. Holy smoke! So you never got you guys never got married after that whole thing. Was it Heaton's fault? No, we actually broke up about seven months later. Wow. Oh. And you'd been you'd been together for what did you say on the show? Five years? Uh, in in college, yeah, for about five years, yeah. Wow. How about that? I never even knew. I guess no one ever knew this, really. Unless you've done interviews about this before, or is this your first? No, I've ever... never done. I've never done an interview, but it was it was in. Uh, you know, Dave wrote it up in the Observer back in '93. Really? Holy smokes! Yeah. That this was is the first time I'm doing a podcast or anything like that. That's for sure. Wow, that was before oh. my time. So, uh, for those of you that didn't watch the Raw show, uh, Bobby Heenan at the beginning of the show, he he starts showing uh, some some uh, shots of. Actually, first he goes. Pan over to that guy, and the cameraman goes the wrong way. Yes. And yeah. uh, Vince and everyone starts yelling at this incompetent cameraman. And then he uh, he scrolls over to you guys, and Bobby Heenan explains, later on this show, this Paul uh, Sasso, uh, he doesn't even know how to share the last name. He goes, he's going to propose to his girlfriend. And they, like, built it up throughout the show. And I was waiting for some sort of segment. I didn't realize it was going to be the main event of the show. <laughs> the I know, main I know. event and of we, Raw 14. we had no idea... That they were putting us on the air and talking about us the whole episode before that. We had no idea. Wow. They had been, you know, goofing on us the whole time, basically, as well. So how did they find out? Well, yeah, is it true? That, like, Bobby Heenan said that you had written him a letter or something like that. No, that that's not true. No. I uh, I called headquarters, and I asked for Bruce Pritchard. What? Wow. Uh, about a, about wow. a month, about you can a month. do that? <laughs> Uh, but, well, in 1993, I, I, it ha I called about a month before the, uh, the date, and, and I got a hold of Bruce Pickard. <laughs> they wow. put me right through him. I've got to know if this still works. Okay, well, I mean, it may. Where's so, my phone? So you, you must, I'm sure you must have been in, how, when did you first start reading The Observer? I have some complaints. Uh, actually, it's almost 30 years now. Uh, I started reading it in, in July of 92. Okay, so in July of 92, you start reading The Observer. You find out that Bruce Pritchard is one of the people in charge of Raw. And yeah. and so you just, like, looked in the in the phone book and got the, the phone number for Titan Towers and just called and it said— It used to be published in, in the, in the uh, WF magazine, the headquarters number. Oh, really? Huh. So yeah, you, it's still. I think it's still the same number. I'm it sure, probably is, but I mean, I don't think yeah. fans can call and talk to Pritchard. But so you no, called no. and you got a, a whoever, and you just said, "May I please speak to Bruce Pritchard?" Yep. And did they say why, or did they just go, "We'll patch you I through"? I don't remember, but we talked for a few minutes about it, and I proposed the idea, and uh, that was a couple weeks before, and then. I think it was on a Thursday before the show aired. So it was, yeah, it was, I think it was a Wednesday or Thursday. Um, J.J. Dillon calls me back. <laughs> you called and asked for Bruce Pritchard. They patched you through, and they said, we'll yeah. get back to you. And J.J. Dillon called. Yes, he did. Wow. And so you said you had this idea, and then what did they tell you? Just show up and uh, go for it? They mentioned it'll be... The only thing I think they told me was that it'll be after the uh, what was it? Typhoon was the last match on the show. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the only thing that, that was the only thing they told me is it'll happen after the typhoon match. Wow. So yep. so you had no idea they were talking about you and filming you? No idea. They were making fun of us the whole time and everything. Wow. Yeah, yeah cuz cuz at the end of the show Heenan comes up and he puts you on the spot and like he forces yeah. you to get down on your knee and he's <laughs> he's begging for you to do the wedding on raw oh, and you both was, are like we ain't doing totally this on raw. All that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How about that? Yep. So just uh, like, what was your plan after the proposal? Like, did you have a date and everything like that, or was it just like? No, no, we didn't get around to it. We never did. Um, just uh, I don't know. We didn't set a date. No. So was she a fan? Um, she had watched wrestling with me a couple times over. The, well, no, I would say re- pretty regularly for a couple years while we were dating. But she was not a fan before that. No. Wow. Yeah, there were a couple of times where they. Uh, they put the uh, camera on you, and yeah. and you look pretty nervous. Like, should I do it yeah. now, oh, God, or yeah. should I yeah. wait? Yeah. You just knew, yeah. wait, it, wait until after uh, the last match? Yeah, I mean, there even uh, when we were in college, there were some famous shows we went to together. Like, uh, I think the first three SummerSlams we all went to, because they were in Jersey, and uh, then 91 was at the Garden. Wow. And we used to go to... Uh, WCW house shows when they had them at the Meadowlands. But she was a big enough fan. Like, we had someone here asking if she wasn't that big of a fan, why did you choose to propose on Raw? Oh, yeah, she she was. She was. She okay, was aware so, of everybody. Okay. I had actually asked for uh, to see if Rick Steiner could could uh, set up, to, could uh, do the proposal, but because uh, uh, he was her favorite oh, for a couple of years. And uh, the Steiner brothers were on a European tour at oh, the time. Oh, man. God, Rick Steiner, holy smokes, what a deal that would have been. Yeah. Yeah. So so hey, it could have been, uh, been Rob Bartlett. Oh no, yeah, it's too bad he was gone, <laughs> man. Yeah. Well, he's got a cameo if you want to uh, you know. No, 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 no. Anything. So so uh now how did how did Dave find out that you guys never got married? Just like just tell him. Did you say, "Hey Dave, you know, if you remember this or not, it didn't work No, out. no, no. I don't think he he was aware. I I mean, uh no, I meant the initial proposal. I see, Rome. I see, I see. I thought you were talking about it, it had gotten out that you guys actually never got married. I got it, I got it, I got it. No, no. So but, things... I mean, for, for years afterwards, people would come up to me at work and stuff or, or just out and around and say, hey, was that you that got engaged on Raw? And I was like, yeah. So you actually got recognized after that one oh, appearance God, on Raw? Oh, God, yes, yes, for wow. months. Wow. A couple wow. years. And, um, you know, even, even, even now uh, I get friends asking me, you know, hey, uh, is your um, is your engagement on, on Peacock on, on WWE? Oh, it sure and is. Like, and I have to be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Does your yeah. does your uh, does your current wife know about this whole story? Or yeah, she knows. She knows. She's seen it. She's seen it. All right. Wow. Yes. Did, now, how did you propose to her? Yeah, what show uh, were you on then? Yeah, was it a wrestling show where you're like... No, oh, no, right. absolutely not. No, just yeah. a regular proposal at her aunt's house. Just a regular proposal, huh? Wow. Yep. We well, got married. Uh, it'll be seven years in July. Hey, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. That's no eight years for me. So do you still uh, you still watch everything? I mean, you do? Yeah, yeah. I'm yep. trying to keep up with everything. Yep, yep. Wow. How about that? Well, man, I'm glad you contacted me about it because I... I've met you a couple times, Brian. I mean, you probably don't remember, but I see, I've talked to you a few times. But, uh... Well, I recognize the... Uh, yeah. um, the uh, what yeah, Your email. I, I, I see it all yeah, the time. Yeah. But where where have we met? I probably know you if um, I saw you today. You know, probably, probably like, you know, no, no big interactions or anything. But I've met you and Dave a couple times at like uh, WrestleMania weekends. Usually, oh, we man. travel a lot for Mania. That ain't happening this year. What about no, Double or Nothing? You going to Double or Nothing? No, no, I, I, um, I don't really travel too much anymore. Like I went to AEW, the three shows that were here last year, the New York City one, uh, and two shows in Newark. I was at the uh, Danielson and uh, Adam Page bloodbath in January. Really? Holy that smokes. That was in Newark, yeah. So you're going to go to some good shows still. Was that better than Raw 14, would you say? Uh, absolutely, yes. Okay. yes. Nothing, I... No memorable matches on Raw 14. I would no. fully... Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Not a good way. Guys, yeah. Holy that's smokes. you guys. Yeah. What did you think about Bartlett being on last week? That was pretty good. That was a good surprise. Absolutely. Man, oh, man. And you're you're the uh, you're actually the main event. You you he had to go. He had to be the uh, the curtain jerker for uh, yeah. for your appearance here for Raw 14. Wow. Yep. Yep. 
Well, listen, I want you to thank you for being on the show here today. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate some insight into that whole thing. We're going to be talking about that show here. So keep All in right. touch. Next time we go somewhere, let me know so I can, uh, I can actually uh, put a, a face to this story. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Sounds all right. Good. Uh, all right. Um, Vinny and Craig there? They yes, sure are. Yeah. All right. Hi, guys. All right. Been listening to you for a long time. Thank you, Paul. Cool. Appreciate it. All right. All right. All right. Have I really one. appreciate it. Thanks again. Have a good night. All right. Thank you, Brian. Good night. He stayed up till till 1230 Eastern. I was going to ask about that. Yep. To come on the show to talk about that here today. Yeah. Holy mm. smokes. Wow. Amazing. Well, he was the star of the show in the biggest news. Yes. That's for sure. So he wa- it was funny because I mentioned that you know the, the, a wedding proposal was the main event of Raw, but it was the highlight of the show, without question. Yeah. This was a poor episode, <laughs> except for Bobby Heenan watching other shows <laughs> during <laughs> that. Uh, particularly horrible. What a better way to put over your product than to watch something else. They've done this. Before. Bartlett did it once. <laughs> yeah, he did. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to that segment here. He's lighter, and he worked the whole match. Yes. <laughs> Bug fly in your mouth. I missed that. Jared, can we get a replay? Was that on film? I swallowed a bug. I hope ah. it was that big one. Ah. Mm. My wife is asking what happened. And, and you explain. a bug. She's cackling. She's never, I've never seen her so happy. <laughs> What's just... God trying to tell me when I was in the middle of that speech and a bug flew in my mouth? Talk less? I guess. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. There's not a meaning in everything, dude. Sometimes bad things just happen for no reason. A bug food in your mouth. You think you think, you, you think it was bad? How do you think the bug feels? If I'm walking down the road and I see a giant mouth, I'm not going in it. <laughs> right? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.